Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Previously, I created a Fusion Collage template to streamline the process of making collage screens, as the built-in video collage effect is not intuitive to use. However, when I recently attempted to use it, I discovered that it runs very slow when set up with six or more tiles, particularly in 4K timelines. So I spent some time and rebuilt the template to improve both performance and usability. Additionally, new features have been also added into this updated template. Now, creating these animated collage scenes can be done with just a few clicks in a matter of minutes. And today, we will quickly walk through these improvements and changes. As usual, you can download the template through the link in the description below, and install the template using the DRFX package, or copy the setting file to your template folder. Once the template is installed in DaVinci Resolve, you can simply drag from the effects panel and apply it to the clip on the timeline. By default, the layout is set to 3x3, a total of 9 tiles. The layout preview is enabled as the effect is loaded for the first time. In this mode, we can preview and modify the layout. When editing the collage layout, the videos underneath may be distracting. We can select all of them and press D to disable them temporarily. The parameters in the inspector are very clear and self-explanatory. Click the Preview Layout button to toggle the preview mode. Every time the settings are changed in the first section before this reset button, you can click the button to refresh the display. For example, change the number of columns. Or change the tile size. We can set up a maximum of 25 tiles with the layout of 5 by 5. If the preview tiles are cut off and not showing correct, you can simply click the reset button again to fix the display. If we set the number of columns to 6 and reset the layout, it will arrange 6 tiles per row, leaving the last row with only one tile. For this demo, let's reset the layout back to 3 by 3. Once the layout is set, we can use these parameters to change the style for all tiles. Changing the center parameter moves all tiles together. Stagger tiles, as the name implies, is used to shift the tiles horizontally and vertically. Use angle to rotate the tiles. Soft edge to soften the tile borders. And increase corner radius to round the tile corners. You can also enable the Fusion Overlay and use the on-screen controls to change the center, angle and tile sizes. Once the layout and tiles are set up globally, we can select and adjust individual tiles if necessary. For example, offset the tile. Change the width and height. Or rotate the tile. These buttons here are used to automatically expand and shrink the tile. Click the plus width button to merge the tile with the one on the right side. And minus button unmerges the tiles. Similarly, the plus height button is used to merge down the tiles. While the minus button is to revert the merge. For improved usability, the Select Tile buttons are dynamically reset to show only the available ones. Click Reset Layout button to reset the layout. This group of parameters are used to control how the image fits within the assigned tile. The default mode is set to Auto Fit. In this mode, the image moves together with the tile and resizes to fit the tile. When rotating the tile, the image also rotates with the tile. When the mode is set to center, the image moves along with the tile, but does not resize. 
When the fit mode is disabled, no transformation is applied to the image. In this mode, when set to a different tile, we will see different parts of the image. Regardless of the mode selection, you can always manually move the image with the offset parameter. Resize the image. Or rotate the image. Check the shadow option to add the shadow effect. And check the border option to add a tile border. And you can change the border color if you want. Click the custom edges button to add roughened edges to the tile. With the previous and next button here, you can select a predefined edge. And you can always play with these parameters to create edges according to your preferences. To animate the edge, set the animation to a value greater than zero. The larger the value, the faster the animation runs. We can turn off the layout preview and check the animation result. The preview mode is slow for playback due to the complex fusion computations involved. Please note that enabling the custom edges will lead to slower playback and a longer time to render the cache. Before applying the collage layout to other clips, make sure to disable the preview mode first. This way, we won't need to click the button to turn off the preview for each clip individually. Make a copy of the clip. Select other clips. Press D to enable them. Press Alt V or right click and select paste attribute from the menu to open the paste attribute window. Make sure to check fusion effects and press apply. Select each clip, go to the effects tab in the inspector. Select the next available tile for the clip. If you are not sure which tile to use, you can enable layout preview for the top clip. This can serve as a reference for all the clips underneath. Continue assigning tiles for all the clips. Once done, turn off preview on the first clip. With the preview turned off, a new set of parameters becomes available to further customize the current active tile. Like changing the position, size, angle and more. When fusion overlay is enabled, the on-screen controls can also be used to make changes. To discard the changes, you can click this restore button to reset the current tile to the global layout settings. Since the effect is copied over individually, any changes made in the inspector only affect the current tile on the selected clip. This way, we can create an effect to shift the focus between tiles. For example, turn on the border and shadow for one tile at a time. First, let's disable the shadow and border for all clips except the first one. When needing to shift the focus, split both current and next clip. Uncheck border and shadow options on the current clip and enable them for the next one. Repeat these steps. We can have something cool like this. Directing attention to different tiles as we present the scenes. To animate a tile, we can simply apply video transitions at the beginning to reveal the clip tile. For example, apply the slide transition. Set the Ease option to both in and out to smooth the transition. We can also change the direction, here I can use a top-down transition. Or use a fusion transition, like this Rotate 90 transition. You can always try out different transitions, and find one that suits your needs. As mentioned earlier, 
I rebuilt this template to enhance performance. So I did a quick test to compare the speed between the old version, the new one and the DaVinci Resolve video collage effect. Here is a 4K timeline, and I have three sets of clips arranged in 3 by 3 layout, each using a different effect. The first set is using the built-in video collage effect. The middle one is using the old version. And the last one is the latest version. The built-in effect is running at 13.5 frames per second. The old version at 2.5 frames per second. And the new version is the top performer at 18.5 frames per second. Please note that the more tiles you set up, the slower it runs. Also when enabling custom edges in the new version significantly affects the playback, as expected. Here is a set of clips, using the same 3x3 layout, but with custom edge enabled. Now the timeline runs at 14 frames per second, much slower than those without custom edges. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.